Welcome to System Summit's Zoom Recording Tips. This is a quick video to help you record your presentation on Zoom. These tips are from our Webinar Secrets Unwrap Training, a great resource for you to look at to create webinars that are content-driven and valuable. What we're going to be looking at is how to use Zoom before, during, and after as you are setting up your presentation. We'll talk about the format, starting the recording, pause times, and perhaps some mistakes. First, let's talk about how you want it to look. Do you want your image to show on the recording? This is called the mashup format. That's where your video is included as the speaker. Now, if you're using this format, make sure that your lighting is great so that your face is lit. Recommend using a virtual background to help create a nice solid background. But this is great if you want to have your image shown during the presentation. The other option is what is called full screen. And this is where no video will be used. It's also a great option because your full PowerPoint slide shows on the screen. Either way, they're great ways to present in the Zoom format. Now let's look at Zoom, what you need to do. You're going to open up the Zoom platform and whether you have a free version or the paid version, it doesn't really matter because most of your presentations will be about 20 minutes long. You'll click on the meetings tab and then you'll see up in the upper right hand corner, host a meeting and there will be a drop down with three options. You'll have with video off, with video on and screen share only. If you're doing full screen, you want the video off. If you're doing the mashup format, you want the video on. The screen share only is sort of obvious. That is where you have the full screen showing and your video is not on. Now let's look at your PowerPoint tool. You will have the file open and you will click on the tab that says slide show and then that will open up and at the very left hand side you'll see a tab that says from the beginning and you'll want to click that. Going back to your zoom dashboard you're going to select share screen. This will open up your PowerPoint into the zoom platform and share your PowerPoint screen on the, the recording. Then you'll go down, you'll see a round button that says record and I recommend selecting record on this computer. That way when you're done it will download to your computer and it will be easy to find your recording. Recording the presentation, do a few checks first. Check to make sure that your slide forward feature is working. Either a mouse click or the forward arrow on your keyboard should let you know. It will change the slide. If it's working, click the back arrow and go back to the beginning of your presentation. Remember the recording is already going. So now you want to do a five second silent pause as a bumper. That helps us identify when you're actually starting your presentation. Complete your presentation all the way through and then add a five second bumper at the end. We need this because we're going to be editing all the videos and adding the System Summit logo and intro for our presentations. If you make a mistake, have no worries. It's easy to correct or erase. So just think about getting through the presentations. So if you make a mistake and need to pause, we often have to sneeze or cough or anything. Take a sip of water because our throat might be getting dry. This is how you can put a pause or stop your recording. Pause keeps the recording on the same file. It's very useful, especially if you feel that sneeze coming. Just click that pause button, do your sneeze, whatever you have to do, and then resume. Try to find a spot 
where it's a natural pause in your presentation. It might be when you're changing slides or you're starting a new statement. That way it will look natural. If you need to stop your video for some reason you want to, you have to walk away, just click the square button and it will stop it, but it will create a second video file. These are ways to correct things or uh, maybe you see that you need to add something to your PowerPoint as you're going along, but this is how you either pause or stop your video. If you use the stop button, remember it's two videos and both of those need to be submitted. Now, if you want more tips on developing content, how to look at outcomes, how do you write titles and descriptions and the production and even more tips, you can always check out Webinar Secrets Unwrapped. It's a full seven part training that gives you all of the details and it's based off my book called Webinar Secrets. You can find it at drvictoriaboyd.com slash webinar secrets. But if you need more help, you have questions, just email me at vboyd at drvictoriaboyd.com. I am here to help all of our System Summit speakers.